Good evening everyone and happy Vesper to all. Tonight, let me share to you a very beautiful devotional. It's entitled, There is Always a Place at the Table. And the servant said, Sir, what you commanded has been done, and still there is room. And the master said to the servant, Go out to the highways and hedges and compel people to come in, that my house may be filled. This is written in the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 22. Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. These are true words of God. And it's written in Revelation, chapter 19, verse 9. He'd gotten used to living on the outside looking in. Lonely was his only constant friend. So when the invitation came that clearly bore his name, he hardly could believe the words he read. There is always a place at the table. Consider a memorable meal in your life. For most, that will prompt a memory of great feast in a luxurious location with an overabundance of delicious food. But even more important, it's the people we visit with, with around the table that makes the meal even more special. The author of this passage or this devotional showed us a beautiful picture of his family. And he said, My mom and dad are now gone. And all those little kids have grown into young adults. And the young adults have become old adults. But also consider an experience most of us have had one that undoubtedly many of our readers now have. A place at the table for a missing loved one. That may be for a number of reasons. Perhaps the loved one is now deceased or away serving on foreign soil or in the military. But today, we especially consider those who feel the lingering pain that is due to an absentee child, the frequency of estrangement between young adult children and their parents has greatly increased in recent years. The inconsolable pain that it causes parents and the loss to both generation is immeasurable like the prodigal they have departed their empty place at the table brings unspeakable heartache in fact in preparing this message we prayerfully consider several we know who are enduring this kind of ongoing heartache Perhaps you are reading this and will readily acknowledge that you are the strange one. We earnestly pray this message may be a prompting for reconciliation, whether it be to your Heavenly Father or those who love you on this earth. For some, it may be both. Jesus told the parable of great banquet in Luke chapter 14, verses 15 to 24. The overall message of the parable is about the excuses and outright rejection of many in regard to entering God's kingdom. That's still true today. The master instructs his servants to go out with invitation to a great banquet. Many who were invited made excuses 
as to why they couldn't come. How sad the excuses that keep us from the great banquet table or the table of those who loved us and long for our presence. The second status says, she'd made so many choices that had turned her life apart and hurt the very ones she loved most. She didn't even know where someone could begin until she got this message from the, from the host. There is always a place at the table. The banquet invitation was extended. Go out quickly to the streets and lanes of the city and bring in the poor and crippled and blind and lame. The servants returned to their master with a report found in the daily text. What you ordered has been done, but there is still room. Yes, indeed, there's still room at the table. And today the master's servant continued to extend the invitation to a great banquet. Scores of devoted missionaries evangelists and pastors are proclaiming there's still room. Dedicated lay people are taking this message to the world today. There's still room. Through this internet ministry, I declare to those who visit this page, there's still room. And of course, many people continue to make excuses. What a great truth is found in verse 23, where we read of God's desire that my house may be filled. Let me ask you today or tonight, have you accepted the invitation or are you still making excuses? If you have accepted the invitation of your place at the table, are you joining the servants in faithfully proclaiming, still there is room? The third stanza of this song says, there is always a place at the table. There's a feast that's no waiting all your own. Your place is set each time the family gathers, it will never be the same till you're home. Our prayer for tonight, Jesus, the theme of the great banquet parable calls to mind another parable where you challenge the conventional way of thinking while forthrightly telling your listeners. The first shall be last, and the last shall be first. We see a lot of people who've been invited to the banquet table to eat of the bread of life. Some have tasted and seen that the Lord is good, while others continue to crave the pleasures of this world instead. You are the bread of heaven that nurtures our spiritual hunger and the living water that quenches our eternal thirst. Our lives will never be the same as they were before we drew from your well of salvation. Since your well is bottomless, with your supply unending, we invite all who seek eternal life for there is still room because you are not willing that any should perish, but that all would come to repentance. We especially pray for wayward loved ones today, particularly those who have abandoned their family roots. Father, lead them back to their home where there is always a place at the table and in the heart of those who remain. We're so thankful 
You are in the restoration business where hearts are mended and families reunited for your glory. We thank you in advance for answered prayer. Amen.